Welcome to Book and Puppet Company's Story Hour for Tuesday morning. This is the hangout. I'm hanging out in this forest here, and I have a friend. Hi. The baby lamb came. Uh, I came for to see food. To food. Food. Like food. like this okay. kind of. Like this kind of food? No. The food you have, the, the boy, the food. And this is your book. The, the flutes. The flutes. Flu food. Flutes. Well, I, I will show them. I, because I brought so many. I have been collecting flutes all for a long time. Um, the first flute I got when I was... Uh, eight years old, I started playing the flute, and I had a flute like this one, and it's a silver flute that has buttons. Has the buttons on it? Can you press the buttons, Lammy? Do you want to press buttons too? Lammy presses the buttons. You can press the buttons. There you go. Boop. Press the buttons. The buttons are. Extremely shiny, and they they go up and down like that. See the buttons, and they make us a beautiful sound when you play them. All of these flutes make a beautiful sound when you play them. I want to hear the sound of flutes. Uh, the flutes. Flutes. All right. Let's see. I'm gonna put these flutes here. Now I'll play this one. I have to I have to blow across. The top of this hole in the top of the flute. That's where I put my mouth, and then I blow across the top of the hole with my lips like this. can play the other flutes too like well this flute this is the biggest flute you see this is this big this flute so big Let's see. Look, look how big it is this flute is so big lammy how do we play it you have to do it the same let's see Big and the, the tone is very, very low. It sounds sad. It does sound sad because it, it's lower. But these other flutes also are, have different tones. Everyone sounds a little bit different. That looks like a stick. It, this is also very long, too. And I put my, my mouth on in a different way than before. Now I do this. Because, see? I can't do this. I see you. I see you. I see you. I can see all the way through. And I see. I see you. I see you. I see you. This is also very, very low sounding food. <laughs> Just like this other one that we played before. Then there's there's also this flute. This is called a shakuhachi. Okay. And 
And that's also one that you can see all the way through. And you see? All the way through. There. I saw it too. And then, then there's this flute is here too. But this one is it's very long, but the notes are higher up on it. See where the holes are? They're very high. So this is going to be a higher sound. Ooh, I'm having trouble making it. Sometimes it's hard to make it go. Look how it, see the hole is very small, so my lips have to be smaller. It's harder to make it go. So sometimes it's a very low it's sound. A skinny it's a skinny bird. That's a good point. This one is skinnier than this one. Do you see? Some of them are wider and some of them are skinnier. And this one is wider. And the wider ones are lower. Did you notice and how the, the skinny one higher? The skinny ones are higher. And even this one is this is sort of a medium, but it can go very high. Good morning, and welcome to Book and Puppet Company's Story Hour for Tuesday morning. My name is Andy, and I'm here with my friend, the chicken. Hi. And also Harold is here, and the Five of Hearts is here, and Mammon. Andy. Oh, and Lammy is here, <laughs> and Mammon is here. Did you see Mammon up here? There's Mammon back there with his big eye and his big mouth. He looks like he's going to eat us all, but I'm sure he won't do it. And today we're going to be reading this book, A Giraffe and a Half, by Shel Silverstein. And if you look at this picture on this book, you can see there's a kid hanging from the giraffe by the nose on a rope. And if you take the picture on the back, you can see there's some other kid, except he's a grown-up. And this kid is Shel Silverstein. He looks very happy in this picture. And there's his giraffe, dressed in a suit. And now we're going to read the book. A giraffe and a half. And you can say words in this I like giraffe. I know, and this is a nice giraffe too. Here we go. A giraffe and a half. By Shel Silverstein. If you had a giraffe Here's the kid walking his giraffe. And he stretched another half. You would have a giraffe and a half. If he put on a hat and inside was a rat, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat. I can say it with you. If you dressed him in a suit and he looked very cute, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit. If you glued a rose on the tip of his nose, you would have 
a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose. Very good. If a bumbly old bee bzzz, stung him right on the knee, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee. Are you saying the words with me? Thank you. If he put on a shoe and then stepped in some glue, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee look and the glue on his shoe. If you gave him a flute and he played toot toot, you would have a giraffe and a hat with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute. If he used a chair to comb his hair, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair. If he tripped on a snake who was eating some cake, you would have, can you say it with me? A giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake. If he found an old trunk and inside was a skunk, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk. If he met a fat dragon who sat in a wagon, <laughs> you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon. Right. If he jumped on a bike and rode over a spike, <sighs> you would have a giraffe.
giraffe fender, hat with a rat in his hat, looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe, playing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike. The rat is hanging onto the hat for dear life. <laughs> if a blubbery old whale got a hold of his tail, you would have a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe weighing toot on a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk in a trunk and a dragon in a wagon and a spike in his bike and a whale on his tail. Look, he's riding as fast as he can. And the boy is there. <laughs> If he fell in a hole that was dug by a mole. Oh. He fell in a hole that was dug by a mole. Oh no. You would have uh, a giraffe and a half with a rat in his hat looking cute in a suit with a rose on his nose and a bee on his knee and some glue on his shoe playing toot and a flute with a chair in his hair and a snake eating cake and a skunk and a trunk and a dragon and a wagon and a spike and his bike and a whale on his tail in a hole with a mole. I couldn't say that. Me either. Ugh. If you brought him a pole to climb out of the hole and the whale left his tail and went off for the mail and he gave the spiked bike to a scout on a hike and he left the fat dragon cause his wagon was sagging and he gave his chair to a tired old bear. And he traded the flute to a bird for some fruit. And he told that old snake to go jump in a lake. <laughs> and a man who bought junk bought the trunk with the skunk. There's the man who bought the junk. That's a lot of He has a there. piggy. He, ha he has, oh, look at that. He has a, and it's, he, ha he has so much junk, including a guitar, a golf club, and a little top is this trunk with the skunk. And he gave the rose to a girl he chose. Ooh. While the bee on his knee flew away with a flea. I guess the flea came from off of that dog. You see the bee and the flea? And he put the shoe with the glue on you. That's a very big shoe. It can fit all over his head. And that silly old rat ran away with his hat. And he put his suit in the laundry chute, and he shrank another half. You would have a giraffe. Yay! And 
And that's the end of our story Thank for you today. Have you have a giraffe. <laughs> And thank you for coming for Story Hour. So we have free Story Hours at 10.30 on Facebook. We're doing a half-hour hangout on Crowdcast and Patreon for the half-hour before. So we're starting at 10 o'clock every day. And then we switch to Facebook at 10.30. So if you want to be part of our Patreon program, you can subscribe. And you can help support Book and Puppet Company by subscribing to our Patreon. And there should be a link in the comments on the Facebook so you can go there and support us but every day we're doing story hours both at 10 o'clock and at 10 30 and I hope we can see you for another one so thank you so much for coming